Wrinkles. Ah, I'm going to decline those. What about baggy eyes? Ah, decline. And forehead wrinkles? <laughs> They're not our Facebook friends, are they? Decline those. You know, a lot of women want to sculpt and reshape their face in other ways, right? They want a smaller nose. They don't want a double chin. I personally think you guys are all beautiful, but I've lived with enough women long enough to know it's about how you are feeling your best. So today, we're going to show you ways to sculpt and reshape your face without painful surgery. Now, some tricks use only makeup. Backstage, we have a celebrity makeup artist, Ashley Glazer. She's working on a reshaped makeover. Look at that. You don't see it yet, but we will show you the results in a few minutes. But first, dermatologist Dr. Denny Engelman is here with other at-home treatments that come close to the results you get when you go under the knife or take other invasive procedures. We're going to start with those saggy eyelids. If someone is unwilling or can't afford to have eyelid surgery and their eyes are drooping down and they, you know, they can't see out of there because of the lids, yeah. what do they do? What's an at-home treatment? So this is such an exciting new launch. This is an FDA-approved prescription eye drop. It's called Upneak, and it just got FDA-approved, and it works beautifully to help address the Mueller's muscle, which is the muscle that opens the eye. It's actually just one drop in each eye. It starts to work in 15 minutes, lasts eight hours, and the great news is it's an active ingredient that we all know. It's oxymetazoline that's actually used in nasal sprays to help with nasal congestion, but now they put in an eye drop, and you can get a prescription for it, and it really helps helps to make your eyes look wider and brighter without surgery. So you can do it in the morning as you, you know, on the way to work? Yeah. And not you not while you're driving. That. Correct. <laughs> you can see fine with it. Yeah, you can see fine with it. Even if you wear contacts, you just put it in 15 minutes before you put the contacts in. Totally safe and FDA approved and ophthalmologists recommend it. How about eye bags? Yes. My family, big time. So these. hereditary. And you know, the active ingredient that I want you to look for here is caffeine, but I don't want you to drink it. I want it in your eye cream. And it's a little known fact that caffeine on the skin is actually very calming. It's mm -hmm. soothing. It's anti-inflammatory. So it helps to address dark circles, puffiness, and that vasoconstriction actually can temporarily reduce the appearance of under eye puffiness. I'm going to uh, put this in my pocket. Okay. Just a little <laughs> something that extra. Up. All right. Nasal lines are pretty common. What do you do about the, you know, there's a, it's, un, it's uncomfortable to get injected right here. It is uncomfortable, and a lot of people are really scared of, of needles, and that's understandable. So a great inexpensive way to address this is actually to change your pillowcase. Mm. You know, we're supposed to be sleeping eight hours a night, but little do we know that we could be wreaking havoc on our skin. There are real things called sleep wrinkles that we can have, especially for side sleepers or face sleepers. So if you just change the fabric, to silk or satin, it has a lower coefficient of friction, it doesn't tug on your skin as much, and it's less absorptive, and so it doesn't dry out your skin as much like a cotton pillowcase would. So a lot of you at home are saying, well, you know, how much of a problem could being a size sleeper create in your face? Well, it could crease your face, and to show it, I got some pics from a dermatologist in the UK. Look at these. <laughs> Shocking. That's what it looks like when you're lying down. That will make big-time nasal wrinkles. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right. Finally, for all the facial sculpting there is, out there, there's a new treatment that is non-invasive that could change everything. It's called radio frequency microneedling, and this is different from microneedling that we've been talking about in the past. Right, very different in that this has 49 tiny little needles that go into the face, but at the tips of those needles, it emits radio frequency, which induces heat in the dermis, right where the collagen and the elastin live, and it upregulates that. So it helps tone the skin, helps with fine lines, wrinkles, helps to sculpt the jawline. So for people who don't want a facelift or can't afford it, this is a great non-invasive option that takes minutes, but really works well to help sculpt the skin. Right, so, and I just have to say, yeah. unlike a lot of lasers, this is safe in any skin tone. So no matter what your pigment, you can undergo this. Let's take a look at a patient who actually had the treatment done. So this is one of my favorite patients. This is my mama. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> You're kidding me. Well, she's beautiful. Uh, well, thank you. So that was before in my office all the way to the side and then right after, the day after. And then this is within a week. And you can see under her eyes look, uh, looks much less crepey and her skin just looks tighter and firmer. But no injectables, no change in her ability to smile and animate, but she just looks fresher and brighter. Your mom did so well that you brought Lucia in today, yes. who's going to do it as well. Another favorite patient. <laughs> and um, I'm just going to show you how it's done. So if you'll turn your face. So you just put the device right here, and then one, two, three. 49 little needles go into the skin, and you can see that we're delivering the microneedling right into the dermis in order to stimulate her collagen and elastin. How's that feel? It's actually not that bad. I've done both microneedling and radio frequency. I love this one. I can walk out of here like, and go out on the road. Can She's I see just genuinely red. 
Um, oh my goodness, yeah, it's not bad at all. Yes, so you may get a little pinpoint bleeding depending on the depth, but I will tell you the difference between this and traditional microneedling in office, I've had that too, and I look like Freddy Krueger afterwards. Oh, gosh. It's red mm -hmm. and bleeding, and you really need to hide for several days. So this mm -hmm. actually is more effective, but with less downtime. This, to me, seems like a really easy decision. Yes. Oh, yes. And how often do you have to do it? I mean, sometimes, depending, if we're treating acne scarring or someone's really wrinkled, we'll do a series of them. But often, patients do so beautifully with just one treatment. So that's really great. Dr. Engelman, as always, lots of wisdom. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. We still have to reveal our makeup reshaping, which is ongoing. Plus, we have real plastic surgeons trying at-home solutions. Will they be as good as going under the knife? We'll find out. That's next. We are back with ways to sculpt and reshape your face without surgery. Not everyone has the money to pay for expensive procedures or the time to recover from them. So we went digging for the hottest trends that offer cheaper at-home solutions and put them to the test. Let's take a look. We assembled a team of top plastic surgeons to try out some at-home beauty devices and products to see if they could come close to what the professionals can do in their own offices. These are the docs who know how to achieve amazing results with lasers, injectables, and surgery. So, what will they say about these trending do-it-yourself options? You and I have been talking lately about your concerns about facial aging. We've talked about trying to clean up the, the jawline here and, and lift the jowl area. We'd like to try some of these new beauty technologies that are out today. These are products that you can use at home on a regular basis. And today, I'd like to try a, a product that's out that uses a microcurrent. And theoretically, it helps to tighten and pull the skin. The device goes on here. And when it beeps, we start to lift and move the device back until we hear another beep. And then we do it again in a slightly higher position. A, a device like this could easily be a part of your regular skin regimen. It could um, offer you some benefit. So in my opinion, why not try it? The next product they tried are these adhesive facial patches, which are supposed to target wrinkles. So you've been telling me about your areas of concerns. Uh, you have a lot of areas in and around your eyes, on your forehead. You have some wrinkles that you'd like to go away. This one here is a facial patch. And what it is is an adhesive. And the idea is that these little stickers are going to keep you from moving your skin. And that's technically, you know, the idea behind Botox. Uh, and that keeps those wrinkles from getting creased into your skin. So this product, you know, you have to wear for a few hours a day, every day. They seem pretty harmless to try, uh, easy to use. Another product that's trending right now, at-home LED light therapy masks. So when patients ask me about wrinkles around their eyes, or pigmentation on the face. What I recommend in my office are neurotoxins for the crow's feet and the wrinkles around the eyes, laser therapy for the pigmentation and also for acne scarring. I have something interesting for you today. So this is a fascinating mask. <laughs> Wait till I turn the lights on. It takes two seconds. And so the red light is recommended for wrinkles. The blue light is for acne scarring and then there's a combination of both. Does it feel warm? It does not feel warm, it feels cool to the touch. So they recommend that you try it on or put it on for three minutes a day and then you'll see results after uh, some time. Well, that last mask was, wait a minute. Nooch, what are you wearing? Oh gosh, guys, not at work. Such prima donnas. Oh, well, at least they apply what we teach, which I know you do as well. Nooch, keep taking the camera. My goodness. All right, it's time to reveal the answer to the question we asked earlier in the show. What's the most requested plastic surgery in the United States? The choices were A, nose job, B, eyelid surgery, C, breast augmentation. The answer is a nose job. In fact, it turns out we found that all of the top three most requested procedures are facial surgeries. People are focused up here. So what can you achieve without surgery? What kinds of changes are possible with makeup only? Let's find out. It's time to reveal the results from our makeup only face sculpt and reshape experiment. I have not been privy to what went down. Celebrity makeup artist Ashley Glazier is here, very trusted member of our team today because she took one of our guests backstage. Let's take a look at our guest before. Here's our guest beforehand. This is Kim. Are you ready, Kim? Can I look now? Yes. Here it goes. This is Kim now. Wow, look at that camera. 
That is unbelievable. <laughs> Look at yourself. You like it? Well, fantastic. <laughs> it's a dream. So be before you actually had actually do all this work, what was your hope? What were you trying to address? I wasn't happy with the heaviness in my eyelids, the wideness of my nose, and the fat under my chin. And I, I thought about having plastic surgery to do a little eye lift and maybe some liposuction and uh, maybe a nose job just to thin out through here. I guess I think you look great right now. However, since you wanted those, those items identified, let's go through actually how you accomplish this. Let's start with the nose. How did you yes. thin it out as Kim's eye? So, I mean, Kim is absolutely gorgeous, but we all have our insecurities. So to grant her wishes, for the nose, we did, and taking a small brush, you want to use your eyebrow as a guide, use a concealer or a foundation that's like three shades darker than your skin, and you want to almost draw like a horseshoe right underneath. Now, you really want to make sure that you blend it in nicely. For the shape of Kim's nose, we really focus right underneath to give it like a little pinch, and then we put a highlighting color, something shiny, creamy, luminous formula, so it bounces off the light, just to give a pop to narrow it out. Your nose is going to get too skinny to keep this up. <laughs> yeah. And how about the double chin? The, you know, this is what Kim calls a double chin. I don't I like mean, that phrase at all because no, I don't think it's fair. Me either. I don't think it's fair. But it is something that we wanted to address. So we're using the same shade darker with a much larger brush, a foundation or concealer. Now, darker colors push. They create a shadow. Mm -hmm. So we're literally, we applied it all underneath. Don't be afraid. Really go under the jaw, uh, behind the ear, bring it all the way down the neck, and then of course you have to blend it in. Yeah. So really make sure you blend it, set it with a powder, translucent or a foundation powder, because this area does get a little hot, so you wanna make sure that the makeup won't crease and separate, but really make sure you blend it and go darker than you think is necessary. I noticed it now that you pointed it out, but Kim, I would never have picked up on that in a million years. I would've just thought it was the lighting in the room. Isn't it cool to have done this without surgery? It's unbelievable. My husband will be so happy in the money that he's going to save. And he's going to be shocked tonight when he sees me at dinner. Because I can't believe what Ashley did. She's unbelievable with just makeup. And it was so easy. It wasn't even difficult to achieve what she did here. Are you going to an expensive restaurant tonight? Uh, we're going to go to La Mella on Mulberry Street. It's Italian. Tell you what, it's on us. Because you look so beautiful. He should, be able oh. to, he should be able to enjoy the entire evening. He's not putting out anything anymore. Thank you. He took care Thank of everything. Thank you so much. I'm very proud it's for you. Very pleasure happy. Pleasure meeting you and being with you today. As well. That was beautiful. Thank Thanks to you, guys. Thanks, Thank Kim. That's good.